Welcome back everyone. When a senior citizen tried to send $12,000 cash in a box to New York, an employee at a Hartford shipping company raised the red flags. Yeah, there's a good ending here. As consumer investigator Kristen Byrne tells us, police are applauding her for trusting her intuition and stopping a scheme. Good afternoon, Pack and Ship. Dozens of customers walk into Hartford's Pack and Ship and more every day, sending off packages all over the country. There you go. Thank you so much. Have a good day. What seems suspicious about this customer story? With every customer, I ask them anything illegal, dangerous, hazards, or prohibited. I ask them what's in the box, if it's fragile, breakable, if it needs any extra love in it. And he didn't want to answer any of those questions. But Jody Grunewald knew something wasn't right when an elderly man came in and was hesitant to answer basic questions about who he was sending his box to and why. So I looked at the name of who it was going to and I said, well, what, what, what's in there that he needs it in such a big hurry? Because he insisted that it go overnight with no signature. She trusted her intuition and held on to the package. And after the man left, she called Hartford police. And good thing she did, because inside the box was $12,000 cash. He was adamant that he was not being scammed. Officer Corey Whipple went to the senior's home. He was 100%, this is what's going to happen. I need to send this money. So I asked him why. And he kind of got to the fact of over the last couple months, his computer had been hacked. We're choosing not to name the senior who was targeted to protect his privacy. Whipple says the man told him some bank had mistakenly put 12 grand into his account and now they wanted that money back. So he told the officer he needed to overnight that exact amount to a man in New York so that his computer would be fixed. A scheme, according to Officer Whipple, others have fallen for too. We learned through FedEx that other packages have been sent to the same address in New York. As far as who was behind it all, police believe a bogus name was used, so tracking down the culprit isn't that easy. They stay there maybe at these houses for a couple days, get a few packages, and then they move on to a different address. All $12,000 in the box was given back to the man, thanks to Jody Grunewald. Turns out this isn't the first time Jody spotted a scam like this one. If somebody did that to somebody in my family, I'd be very angry. And so I'm just just trying to look out for somebody. Hartford police recognized her for acting fast and saving this man from a huge financial loss. Police are saying Jody's a hero. What do you think of that? I don't see it as being a hero. I think I see it as being doing the right thing. Police worked with FedEx and have flagged that New York address, so any future packages sent to that location would be closely inspected. But as Officer Whipple explained, these criminals tend to move, so any additional help, in this case Jody's, can stop a scheme from happening in the first place. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. Wow, thank you, Kristen. Aren't we lucky to have people like Jody in our community? Oh my gosh, my heart just feels yeah. for that man. Thank God for Jody. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. And unfortunately, seniors are often targeted in scams like this. Some start out as a phone call from a number you don't know. We've all gotten those, mm -hmm. or maybe an email with the center asking you to click on a link. And so experts say the important thing is to remember you never want to send money to a stranger and don't give out your personal information.